five year anniversary of the Plan for Better Parents, we talked to sociologist Martin Geller. Divorce rates are climbing, coupled with rising birth rates among lower income families. Only wealthy parents have been able to afford higher education with the rising cost of living and tuition. Could regulating parental eligibility help disadvantaged youth catch up? Is it possible that fewer and better parents could reduce youth incarceration and create a more diverse population of young people getting educated? But only 30% of Americans can apply, and just 20% of that group earns a license. Environmentalists celebrate the curb on population growth just as they've championed the adoption movement, but what's truly been accomplished by what the critics call artificial selection? Polls show diminishing public support from 85% down to 60% in five years, especially among women objecting to mandated birth control for its unexpected side effects. What are you doing? I couldn't sleep. If you want this to happen, then you have to show me. No. <laughs> I don't have time for this. They can see what you're doing. Research shows that marital satisfaction falls after the first child. Tell me why you think perfectly happy couples should want to have children. Well, most people don't want children. It's expensive and risky. Most of my friends are scared of getting divorced and becoming single parents. And they think that bad parenting leads to young people in prison. I want my kid to make a change. Because I remember how it used to be. We all wanted to be parents. And hundreds of thousands of generations before us were able to do it. Most of us just forget about that. How's your day? It's good. What's this? That's in case we don't get lucky. Harry, you have to stop worrying so much. I'm just trying to be realistic. Moving to Canada isn't realistic. We both have our residencies in January. <laughs> you still don't think we can do this, do you? No, I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Look, everyone says that they don't want to be parents. They say that it's too expensive and that they don't have time for it. But you and I both know it's because they don't think their relationships will last. And say what you will about how fucked up the system is. But if we believe in ourselves, then they will too. Just please promise me that you won't fall apart if they say no. I can't promise you that. I can't plan out my future highs and lows. You know I don't think like that. And you having this backup plan, it just makes me lose confidence in us. Tell me you really think we can do this. I can't. And I can't go through with this. I don't want to have to justify to the government why we should have a kid. It's just a dream, okay? It's over now. It's gonna be okay.